Hello everyone. Welcome to my new programming club. Today we will be solving another delete code problem. And the problem's name is find bottom left tree value. So the problem statement goes like this. Given the root of a binary tree, you have to return the leftmost value in the last row of the tree. Okay. So we need to find the leftmost value in the last row of the tree. So if you consider this as your example input, so one was the last uh, leftmost value in the tree. Uh, so it was the uh, let me you know take this to a board so that I can explain you how this thing is working. What uh, you know the problem statement means by the last row here. So as you can see here, these are two levels which are present in this tree. Okay. And this is the last level. Okay. And this is the leftmost node. Leftmost node in last level we have to return its value basically okay so let's see the constraints okay uh, similarly in this particular example also you know there were these levels first level then your second level okay and then your third level and this was your fourth and the last level and it was the leftmost node present here so you have to return its value which is 7 ok so the number of nodes in the tree are ranging from 1 to 10 raised to power 4 and their values are ranging from minus 2 raised to power 31 to 2 raised to power 31 minus 1 ok so we you know we are not con uh, very much concerned about the values we only know about uh, we only want to arrive somehow at this last node ok and store its value so as it's mentioned that you know last row of the tree or last level of the tree we have to arrive at so we can do a level order traversal here those of you who are new to this level order traversal okay i will be explaining uh, in my own terms what this level order traversal is and uh, I will also be providing a link of an article describing you know level order traversal you can uh, explore uh, that link and uh, you you can very well understand the implementation of level order traversal also anyways I will also be explaining uh, now let's begin okay so what we'll be doing is each of these uh, red levels uh, circled in red color will be treated as a queue here okay so this will be your queue okay now queue is a data structure you know if it's a single queue uh, single ended queue so removal will be done from the front and insertion will be done from the rear okay so you will insert values from here and you will remove values from here ok so initially your queue will be having only one value which is the root of your you know binary tree that will be given to you ok so you will be given the root as you can see here a roots value is given to you initially you will store 
you know you know you will declare a root of tree node type okay and then you will push your first value which was your roots value and you will keep a variable left node value okay initially it will be set to the value that root is having okay so you will keep updating this variable with each level okay to be specific uh, from the first value of each level okay so you can name this queue as level queue now as of now this queue queue have a size okay size is one okay and then what we will do we will store this size variable into a another variable let's call this original size okay then you will be doing the following operation which i'll be telling you size number of times okay so what is the size of the queue that many nodes should be present in the queue so we will pick uh, pick out first node that is present so there was only one node present which was one then we will see uh, what uh, are, are there any left children and right children of you know uh, this particular node let's say current node okay so first of all we will check for the left child then we will check for the right child okay why we are checking because you know we want to form one level below so this was one level below we are making the queue for the next level okay while traversing the queue for the current level so this was your current level and this was your next level okay so while we are at the current level we are making the next level so what we will do and why only size number of times because you know we are using a single queue to represent all these levels and this size variable will help us to uh, not to remove more than required number of nodes at the current level okay so what you will do you will see that the left child is there certainly then it is two you will uh, push the value of left child okay at now your as of now your you know queue is having only one you uh, pull it out of the queue from the front and then you see that one is having a left child which is two so you will enter two's value here so as of now this value is gone and then you will see whether uh, right child is also present okay it's present then you will add uh, this value also and this whole uh, picking out from the front will only be repeated till size number of times and your size was one okay along uh, with that what you will do you will see and you will keep decrementing your size value till your size value is greater than zero you will be doing this operation okay uh, you will keep a variable original size you will store size in it and whenever you know uh, size value minus one is equal to you know no size value is equal to original size minus one it means that you are at the very first node of this current level okay this indicates that you are at the first node of current level so in this case you will update your left node value okay so your left node value will be updated to current node value which is nothing but one okay and this is your next level okay so similar operation you will keep doing for the next level also okay and then at last your left node value will be having seven 
and it will be your answer so i hope you are able to understand if you want to continue doing this operation for the next level also just to make you understand we can have a you know have us build another level let's try to build the you know third level while visiting the second level so as of now your current level will be this and this will be your next level now you may see that size is also changed right now right now your size is you know it's two so you will be running a loop for two times and whenever your value of size will be equal to 2 minus 1 which is 1 then you will store the left node left node's value and update it basically so your left node will be 2 then for 2 you will do the similar kind of checking okay so once you are at 2 you will see whether it is having any left child okay it's having a left child 4 and then we will see whether it's having any right child okay it's not having any right child so you will be pushing only 4 to the queue okay similarly you will do for 3 also and uh, there is a little uh, thing to be noted here that we are you know checking for the left nodes value uh left children value first why we are doing so because you know we are interested in on in the left most value so this will give us the left value in the beginning of the queue of a current level okay so you know for 3 you can easily do the same operation so 2 is already out of the queue and then there is 3 So for three five is there, left node value, and then six is also there. So you will push these two values. Okay. Now Q is having uh, three is already out of the Q. Q is having four five six. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is the left most value of the next level. So that's why we are taking, uh, we are checking for the existing existence of um, left child for the current node. okay this was your current node so that is how you you will keep you will be keep solving this particular question and or let's say problem and how many number of times each node will be visited each node will be visited only once so the time complexity of this particular algorithm will be order of n only and space complexity wise you can say that uh it will be order of number of or you can say width of binary tree okay so let's say this was the biggest level that was there so you can say order of width of binary tree because you know you we want to know that at a certain point what is the maximum number of nodes the queue will be holding okay so this will be the complexities now let's see the implementation part implementation part is quite similar to what i have told you but anyways let's have a look at the implementation so this is your level queue initially you will be pushing root to it and your left nodes value will be equal to root value initially now you will keep doing this operation till your level queue becomes empty okay it means that you have processed all the levels that were there to process okay if your level queue is becoming empty so right now level queue is having only this value okay 
and so you will have a variable original size it will be storing current level size which is the current size of level queue and you will be processing for the current level okay processing nodes for current level only okay so first of all you know you will be checking whether your original size minus one is equal to current level size it means that you are at the very left node of your current level okay uh, it means that you are at the leftmost node of your current level okay and you will store the, uh, the left node value uh, basically updating the left node value with this value and then you will check for whether current node is having right left and right cells okay check for whether current node is having left and right children's okay and if that is the case you will build your next level okay so and you will build your next level at last you will be returning your left nodes value okay and this is how you will be solving this particular problem if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead